everybody, it's me, Vic. So I wanted to talk about that really cool clip that I made on uh, Twitter displaying an Elgato stream package. Um, it was made by Visual by Impulse. It's called Cascade. You can get it on the Elgato marketplace. I love the minimalistic look of it, and uh, I hope you all enjoy how to make something this cool using verticals. Um, that's primarily what I was working on. Um, I've been excited because I've been wanting to work on content for a while and I've been motivated. It's just I was trying to figure out the best way to show these things um, while I was making the content. So here we go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, open up OBS. I'm doing a clean slate. As you can see, there's a vertical here. Um, let's make this big, or well, maybe not bigger, but uh, yeah, maybe. There we go, that's better. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is this is my vertical sources, scenes, and transitions, right? So it's labeled as a vertical scene. I am gonna rename this V1, right? And what I want to do is I want to bring in a transparent source, um, and that is actually made by uh, this stream package with Elgato. Anyway, um, let's get started here. So we're going to go to sources, right? We're going to go to our media source because it is something that is going to be a WebM file. And I'm going to go to where I've saved my package. And I'm going to go to animated. That vertical folder is empty. After I figured out what I needed to do, I didn't need to convert anything in DaVinci Resolve. So I got really excited because it was pretty simple. Um, let's go to scenes and I'm going to go to animated. Now the starting scene I wasn't too keen on using because there is going to be like wording or phrasing in there but I noticed that it clears off the whole screen and it'll still say starting soon and I wanted the starting soon to kind of disappear with it or if not at least half of it and so I went with the ending screen instead and I chose the uh, transparent. Now what I do here right, because we're going to see it pop up here, but how do we get it to look vertical? Well, that's actually very simple. You're going to go to transform on your source right here. So we're still in this source, but we're in vertical, and we're going to right click, which is what I did. We're going to go to transform, and I am going to rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise because I want it to go this way. And what I'm going to do is put stream starting. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to our image because it's a static image. Click on New, Browse, and now the, the phrasing or the wording is very, very small. So what I'm going to do is I want to make that bigger, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. Let's go to Scenes, Titles, and this one says Starting. All right, but uh, you see how it's kind of big, but it's also kind of small. Um, but I want it to basically fit the area that I want it to fit, and I want it to be... I don't know here. So we can still use Alt. Oh yeah, I should click on OK. You can do Alt and you can basically make a custom little box to resize it. And then from here, you can actually still zoom in and out. And there you go, right? Well, almost, right? Like you usually see like a preview behind it, whether it's a face camera or, or face cam or camera or game content. In my case, I choose game content. Um, and what I will do is I will actually come to a video capture device and we're gonna use my 4K60 Pro MK.2 for this. And I am going, and yeah, I had Spider-Man running. Uh, I was actually doing another video where I was talking about HDR content for Windows and Macs and yeah, it's, it's a, you should check it out. Anyway, let's go to custom. And we're gonna do what it's fully capable of, match out, um, output FPS, any 709, I'm not actually streaming in HDR. Default buffering, we're gonna disable, always disable it, click on okay. Uh, we don't need the media source, which is the um, this thing right here. Oh wait, y'all can't see that yet, can y'all? All right, so I'm gonna size this up real quick. Hold on y'all, I'm gonna move this in the middle. And then I'm going to drag it down to the bottom. And I'm going to actually lower the gameplay uh, music here. So there you go, scene one, right? So that's why we labeled it V1. And then 
Same thing, we're gonna actually go here, create a new scene, we're gonna name this V2. And I've already set up the transitions. Uh, if you're wanting to do that, you know, you just go to Stinger, you go here to Properties, um, and I went here to Cascade, Animate Packages, Transitions, WebM. There's the vertical one, there's a horizontal one. I chose the vertical one. It's already set, you don't have to configure anything. So when you're doing that transition between scenes here, it'll do that for you. There is a vertical scene transition. So for those who are streaming on TikTok or those who are streaming on Instagram Live or even just creating a YouTube short, it's that easy to set up a stream package in vertical in your favor, at least something that's minimalistic. I, I couldn't vouch for any of the other ones, but Cascade, very, very easy to do. Um, anyways, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful day.